So I did a thing. And I am, what, I'm five by four and a half. And this is almost as tall as me, a stack of, I can't sleep at night, 3 a.m. shopping. <laughs> I'm gonna open up a couple of these. I'm not gonna open up them all, but I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, I guess I'm a little concerned about sharing it with you because I don't want it to seem like, um, I guess, what's the word? It's an investment. So I don't want it to come across as braggadocious um, because I'm certainly not, but I, I thought now is a great time of year to share it with you. If you're like us, we get bonuses from work this time of year. I know a lot of people get them at the end of the year, but we have to wait till our fiscal year ends and then we get a bonus or possibly you're getting in income tax returns and it might be something you want to consider budgeting for if you have the opportunity to. So that's the only reason I'm sharing it with you. Um, it's not something I had planned on doing um, at all, but I actually am kind of thankful that I did and that I had the opportunity. So um, let's break into a couple of these boxes and I'll show you. So we'll open up this small one because I'm excited to see them. Have you, have you guys ever shopped Zulily? So one thing to know about shopping on Zulily, I, I don't really know how the company works, but you can't return anything. So I have gotten a couple things like I wish I could have returned, and you're not always gonna be guaranteed the fastest of shipping. But a lot of times it's overstock items or last year's items that are discounted. So, and I honestly don't remember exactly what I bought. Okay. So the brand is Le Parfait. I believe it's a, a French brand of canning jars. Similar to WEC. So let's just see if we can't pull some out. And this all goes to my effort for food security in case we continue to have a significant canning jar slash canning lid shortage in the United States. Um, so it's obviously a four pack. And um, let's open one up. And they have the seal very thick, thick seal. Let's see, it goes here. Interesting, very small. I've never, I've never, ever, ever canned with these type of jars, either these or a whack. I can't even get it to go. Doing it like this, I need a can counter. See what kind of instructions, if any, come with it. So it's gonna be in all French. Nope, directions for use. Wash the jars thoroughly with soapy water, let them dry. Never use metal or abrasive. Only use fresh produce. Maximum filling level is two centimeters below the rim. Um, follow the instructions for cooking times, temperatures, and given recipes. If using a pressure cooker, allow the pressure to drop naturally. Store the jars upright in a cool, dark place. 
Before consuming, check that jars are still tight. Um, you know, and seal. So it's good. So I think that, I mean, these are so, I guess what made me feel comfortable about it, right, is the style and design oh, is so similar to old fashioned canning mason jars that our grandparents would have used. Um, the glass doesn't seem on these anyway, much thicker than um, a mason jar. I think I've heard that weck jars are thicker. So that's that one. Let me break into a couple others and show you what I got. Todd didn't know that I had done this. And if you guys follow our our Dave Ramsey um, or get out of debt story, you know how we do our money. So I don't really have to necessarily tell him everything that I'm purchasing with my own money. Um, he's like, oh my gosh, Rachel, what, what did you buy from Zulily? I'm like, oh, it was one of those 3 a.m. things. So open this one, see what's in here. Same brand, same Le Parfait brand. And I did buy different sizes um, of jars just because I was unfamiliar, you know, their um, metric. So I was not 100% familiar with what the measurements would look like with respect to pints and quarts. More Le Parfait. I thought I bought some Wex because I want to look at those in comparison. Nope, more Le Parfait. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> One of you are, I think I have a couple um, subscribers from France. You'll let me know if I'm saying it incorrectly. Well, I guess that is the entirety of the brand I bought. Must have been cheaper than WEC. I remember, I feel like I remember both of them being on Zulily. And, um, having to decide which one to go with in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep. So these must be, I, I would guess tiny little Tiny little jelly jars, maybe? No? Oh, those are cute. Yeah, that's a fun one. It's just a, I guess that would just be a pint, I guess. Kind of like a squat. Pint, maybe a pint and a half. No, probably just a pint, huh? What does it say it is? 50, hmm, it's hard to read. Cute. I wish I lived in Alaska, because wouldn't salmon look so pretty in that? <laughs> like some smoked salmon. That would look pretty. Anyway, so I have a lot. Not a lot by any means now when it comes to things like buying a case of quartz, pints, half pints, but there's several boxes in each of these boxes of various sizes. Now it was not cheap, right? I talked about that in my last video about what am I going to do for this canning lid shortage that's going on. And so many of you were so generous and sent me canning lids in the mail. I know I did an exchange with one of you to just purchase them for you, from you because you had a lot. And I don't take that for granted at all. And that'll probably, what I've got now for canning lids, I did go ahead and purchase some through Uline. I'll show those right here. Little questionable. I know it got recommended by a lot of you to go through Uline, 
But guys, the seal on it is not like rubber. It's more like a wax coating. So I'm still not confident in that. So I've got all those. I have the Amazon <laughs> China ones that I bought. Um, the blessing from you guys. I, I probably have, I would say, a case and a half of wide mouth and regular mouth, plus all my Tatler lids. So I'm solid for this year, really I am. My intention is to teach myself to learn to can with these this year. Um, you know, kind of figure out what if anything is different in technique, um, headspace, um, you know, how well do they hold up? Do they, you know, hold their seal for a year? So maybe in each batch of something that I can, I will use one of these jars as a teaching and learning process for myself. And if I like them after this year, I think I will continue to make small investments like this. Now, it's not necessarily small, but when you talk about scale of number of jars, it's small. Um, so it would take me many, 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 many years to ever think that I would have enough of this. And I honestly don't even think that's my intent. My intent is making sure I have enough backups for food security. So um, that's the plan. So just another option to consider um, looking at different websites. Zulily is one. Who would have thought? You know, I think a lot of us think about Zulily with respect to home goods or clothing, um, but they have a lot of kitchen items too that often go clearanced out. So, just wanted to share. Not share it all in entirely, but and share it from a perspective of what am I, you know, one more step I'm doing for food security. I'm just going to teach myself another method with a different style jar and canning process that they use over in Europe. So thanks guys. Wish you luck on your canning lid quest, canning jar quest where you are. Um, definitely use your communities. So reach out to your Facebook groups, participate and there's a homesteading buy, um, buy, sell and trade group on Facebook. So reach out through there. You know, make a network across the United States. I know from you guys alone, I got lids from California, Utah, Minnesota, Virginia, Alabama, and Kentucky, I think. So they're, they're to be found, <laughs> maybe not readily, and maybe not in our area or your area where you live, but they can be found. So this network is amazing. We've shown that time and time again, and uh, we're here to help one another, either by sharing information on where you can go, different alternatives, things that we've tried, things that we're willing to do, um, just to build up the knowledge and um, options to all of us. Talk to you guys later.